Andrew McCarty, FL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined by Michael Webster, Michael Water, performance tonight. Another knockout. Yeah. I mean, you went the distance in your first two fights and you've had five straight knockouts, man. How do you assess your performance? Yeah, but it's good performance, man. Against a decent, solid opponent. Like you say, he's uh, quite dangerous. It took him last minute. We didn't know much about him, but it was take that opponent on knock box because you no know, one will take it. Um, but it's one of them. I just want to be on my job and, and as soon as I hit him, we didn't want to know. Third round, you got him in out there. You, you, you seem to be getting them out quite early. This is the longest you've been in your in your knockout streak, so to speak. Is, yeah. the, is the third round, but is, is that something you've been working on since your first two professional fights? Is that setting your shots and, and throwing them from obviously the technical side of things, but setting your shots and throwing the game makers? Is that what you've been working on? No, to be honest with you, my first two, two, two fights, I had a bad hand, so I boxed them with bad hands. So, like you say, when I can throw my shots, when I'm fully healthy, that's what happens, it's as simple as that. Well, I mean, the Cruiserweight division right now, I mean, you're 7 0, I believe, in the Cruiserweight division with Chris Brown Smith and uh, McCarthy, Tommy McCarthy fighting again, their rematch, you've got Riazpo, Arcoli, I mean, there's some very Jack Massey, you know what I mean, even David Jameson up in Scotland. I mean, there's some great names now, so when, when can we see you in amongst, in amongst all them? Like you say, a lot of them are a lot more experienced than me, you know, they've had a lot more fights. I just need the rounds. I need the right fight to write at the right, at the right time. And the rounds are them about, like you say. We check my record, I haven't had many rounds because they don't last very long. But like you say, we stepped up a day. We got a decent opponent, he had a decent record. And he come to win, and when they come to win, it's, it's hard to look, like you say, my last performance here, it was hard to look good because he just wanted to survive. If someone comes to win with a bit of ambition, you get a punch straight out. When you look at the, the Cruiserweight division right now and uh, the names I've just rattled off to you, man, how do you feel when I, I rattled the names off to you? Are you excited about the big fights on the horizon? Yeah, of course, yeah. Like I say, down the line, they'd be great fights for me. Like I say, I've, got, I've already put, I've missed, put my own name out there, put my stuff out there, and then they're talking about me. I mean, will that be? I mean, you're, you're doing all the right things. You're stopping your opponents, so yeah, you're course, doing all the right yeah. things. Like you say, mate, I just don't, you don't need to rush anything. Like you say, I've only did, I think, what, I've had about 40 now, 40, 50 pounds of coke. We were out with COVID, we had a long time out, so just, just steady away, mate. If the, if the big fights come, I'm not going to take any time. You said, eh... Uh the opponent, you're not you need to up the level of the opponent, so I'm guessing the next time you're out we're gonna see a, a more dangerous opponent in there with you. Yeah well like you say today that he had a decent record, he'd uh, he had seven eight and lost four. He do he lost four against decent kids. So he couldn't win, like you say with a bit of ambition. Oh, he's soon gonna punch out of him. Like you say, just just gradually take more steps, get more rounds under my belt. So try to get the rounds under my belt tonight to be honest with you. I just, just kept behind a jab nice and steady, but as soon as I hit him, I got that killer instinct, man. Once I see it, it's gone, and that's it, I'm gonna get him out of there. I was going to say that, you meant it before you said that last bit there, I was thinking to myself, why don't you just uh, carry them through the rounds then? Why don't you just like, stay on your jab a little bit and dance around a wee bit and showcase your skills, do the alley shuffle? Well, I did, didn't you watch it in the car? I didn't get out the second game, man. <laughs> I was just boxing behind my jab, just like you say, my coach just said box behind the jab, nice and tidy. And I just, like you say, I started letting the shots go around the side because he shells up. And I started letting the shots go around the side. And like you say, once, once I dropped him, you know, your killer instinct kicks in and that's it. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. I've got to say, you're boxing on Sky, with boxer, I mean, showcasing your talent on Sky, well, how does that, what does that mean to you? Oh, it's great, like you say, you put the graft in the gym and it's, it's like you reap the rewards, don't you? Put the graft in and then you say, you get a big platform like this and then I put a, put a good performance in, so you can't do any more. I want to talk about Chris Brown Smith and Tommy McCarthy, since it is in your division, the first fight was a great fight, we've got the rematch coming up, your thoughts on it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, I think, um, I think Chris Brown Smith is still going to get yeah. Good fight the first time, I'm looking forward to watching it again. I mean, we, we had performed uh, Sky and Boxer uh, last week, I believe, a couple of weeks ago, I can't quite remember. My, my, yeah. my days and my, my hours are mixed last, up. I think it was last week, yeah. yeah last week, my days have kind of travelled so much, it's mixed up. But, yeah, I mean, when you look at Riot Paul and Sky, and you look at Chris Brown Smith, and you look at all these fighters, do you, do you envision yourself being on this, this Sky channel, and or a big network headline or show like this? Yeah, I'd love to. Possibly. Like you say, massive show in the North East. Right, I'd love to headline. On the Riverside. Riverside, that's Middlesbrough, right? Yeah, Middlesbrough, yeah, just <laughs> on the road. Like you say, I've got a good crowd up today, so it's only going to keep getting better, mate. Listen, Michael, go enjoy the rest of the night. I know you've been a busy man, and uh, yeah. listen, enjoy the rest of the night, and thank you very much. Cheers, thank you, brother, thank you, thank you.